So let us simplify. We have two binomials here. The first expression is the 7x to the power of 6 plus 6x to the power of 4. And the second expression is 9x cube minus 8x to the power of 4. And we are subtracting this uh, second expression from the first because of that minus sign. I said subtraction. Okay. Now, in my first step, I'll just remove these two parentheses of the first expression. That is, write down 7x to the power of 6 plus 6x to the power of 4. See, we did not do anything else except taking out those parentheses. Now, in the second expression, because of this is subtraction sign, I have to change the sign of each term. Each term of the second expression has to change the sign. So, here it is 9x cubed. 9x cubed means it is a positive 9x cubed. By default, we have to take it as positive. So, because of that positive 9x cubed, I'll write a negative minus 9x cubed. And there is a minus here. I have to change it to plus 8x to the power of 4. Right? So, see, first expression, no change. While taking down the terms of the second expression, I have to change the sign because of this subtraction thing. Please remember that. Now, next step, I have to group the like terms. Let us group the like terms. If at all you find any like terms, we have to group them together. So, I see here 7x to the power of 6 nothing else has x to the power of 6. So, 7x to the power of 6 is by itself. Then, 6x uh, to the power of 4 and I also see 8x to the power of 4. So, let us group them together. 6x to the power of 4 plus 8x to the power of 4. After 4, then 3's. So, I am done with the uh, this I got 7x to the 6, 6x to the 4 gone, 8x to the 4. Now we are left with 9x cube minus 9x cube. Okay, let me 9x cube. That is equal to 7x to the power of 6. No need to do anything to that. Just write down 7x to the power of 6. But uh, second and third terms are the like terms. So, you can combine them together. 6 plus 6 and plus 6. So, 6 add 8 gives you 14. With that x to the power of 4. So, 14 x to the power of 4. Please don't do anything to the exponents. Leave it as 14x to the power of 4. Then last term is 9x cube. That's all. Further, we cannot simplify because x to the power of 6 is different from x to the power of 4 and that is different from x cube. All these three are unlike terms. So further simplification is not possible. And so leave it here. This is the simplified form of the given uh, expression. Right? Okay. So just follow the same steps and try to simplify this one here. You have 5x cube plus 8x to the power of 6 minus 11x to the power of 5 minus 12x to the power of 6. Same way take all the parentheses, bring down the first expression and while writing the terms of the second expression, change the sign because of the subtraction and then group the like terms together and further simplify.
just like uh, the one I showed you just now. Okay. Now we have another problem here. After trying this, let us look at this uh, simplification, a little longer problem, but it is not so complicated. Let us simplify this. We have three terms and I'm seeing uh, A's and B's and some numbers. Let us see. I'll read um, negative 5A times 2A plus 3B minus 7 plus 6 times negative 4A plus 5B plus B times you have 3A plus 5B minus 9. Okay, what is your first step? In first step, you can you use distributive property. I'll use the distributive property and like these two. Negative 5a, negative 5a times 2a gives you how much? 5 times 2 is 10 with a minus sign. 10 a square right so i'll write negative 10 a square then negative 5 a times 3 b negative 5 times 3 is negative 15 a times b is a b so i'll write down here minus 15 a b then you have the third one this is a uh, how much negative 5 a times negative 7 negative times negative positive 5 times 7 35 a so i'll write down plus 35a okay then you have 6 now plus 6 times negative 4a 6 times negative 4a gives 6 times 424 with a minus sign because positive times negative 24a okay so minus 24a then 6 times 5b 6 times 5b is 6 times 5 30 and the b so it is plus 30b so we are done with the second expression now the third we have b times 3a b times 3a so just 3 by itself 3 b times a b a or a b just the same because of the commutative property and just write 3 a b then b goes with the 5 b b times 5b okay that's b times 5b 5 is the number b times b b square so it is plus 5b square now the last one b times 9 okay b times 9 with a minus sign so negative 9b and that minus 9b all right let us verify and make sure that uh, everything is right we have minus 5a times 2a 5 times 2 10 10 a square that's right now 5 times 3 is 15 a b with a minus sign that's good negative of negative positive 5 times 7 is 35 and that is a 
now plus times is minus 6 times 4 is 24 and that a is the positive and positive give you positive 6 times 5 is 30b then b times 3a 3ab the plus sign again plus b times 5b 5b square this is b and uh, plus times minus minus b times 9 is 9b everything looks good now group the like terms let us group the like terms if at all they are there i'll start with the, this a negative 10 a square no more a square so then we look for b squared only 5 b square i'm seeing here so let me write plus 5 b square and then we'll take a b's so let me write down this minus 15 a b and then 3 a b right minus 15 a b plus 3 a b and then we'll take uh, a's into account 35 a minus 24 a plus 35 a minus 24 a and uh, lastly this is b plus 30 b minus 9 b plus 30 b minus 9 b yeah everything is considered right 10 a square you got here then this b squares and a b's are considered a b and a b then the a terms and the b terms right okay then next step we will combine the like terms we have seen this is by itself 10 a square is just a bring down plus 5b square also you brought it down minus 15ab plus 3ab negative 15 positive 3 combining them gives you oh, their opposite sign so i have to remove the small number from the big number so 15 minus 3 gives me 12 and the sign of the bigger number is negative so minus 12 a b or just minus negative 15 plus 3 gives you negative 12 that's what it is then uh, after this 35 and 24 35 a and 24 a gives you how much from 35 i'll take away 24 1 and 1 that is 11 plus 11 a then plus 30 b minus 9 b from 30 take away 9 to give 21 so that is also plus 21 times b right negative 10 a square plus 5 b square minus 15 a b plus 3 a b gave you minus 12 a b 35 a minus 24 a is 11 a and 30 b minus 9 b gives us 21 b can you simplify further no because a square has nothing connected to that all these are unlike terms a square b square a b a and b is there all by themselves so this is the simplified form of the given expression it is just a lengthy expression but uh, everything is uh, very simple if you know the process just uh, you make use of this distributive property 5 a is multiplied with all the three terms 6 is multiplied with those two terms b is multiplied with the three terms after that multiplication all that we did in the scratch work then you group the like terms and in the last step you combine the like terms you have just uh, combined the like terms put them together okay now i have one problem for you please try this 
negative 88 times 3a plus 5b minus 9 plus 8 times negative 5a plus 7b plus b times 5a plus 7b minus 1. Okay, please try this. Thank you.